year. So 2021 has actually been a pretty exciting year for us. We really saw the beginning of the return of events about mid spring is when the cancellations kind of started happening or stopped happening from 2020. And at this point in the year, we are almost back to a completely full schedule, which is, which is great. Um, there were very few events past May that actually were canceled or rescheduled. We have a few that have ended their runs entirely just due to COVID, um, whether it affected their organization or they just are no longer going to continue. Uh, but we've also picked up a bunch of annual, new annual events such as Donovan Marine, Motor Mania has added an additional event. We have a ATV UTV charity ride that's looking at coming back yearly and we see more on the horizon coming in 2022. So the events that we've lost, we've replaced, which is great. Um, and as far as I'm aware, we don't have any cancellations in 2022. Kind of, so that's kind of fair part by itself. The fair itself was fantastic. We had great crowds. Everyone was happy to be there. I have never seen such a lack of complaints about anything. It was amazing. Um, our attendance was 79,164, which was actually up about 10,000 from 2019. The vendors were happy, the people were happy, the staff did an amazing job. We were still short staffed during the fair, so for us to pull off what we were able to do this year was, was a really great accomplishment for everybody. Um, kind of just touched on the fair on the other side of things, so we are now working with Joe to book the National Entertainment for the fair, that was part of the agreement. We, the experience with Joe so far has actually been very good. We work very well together on it. We have some offers out right now, we're just waiting to hear whether or not those can go, are actually going to go through. And if they do, we'll have concert announcements earlier than we've had since before I've been here. So that would be nice. Um, additionally, we did have one event that was happening down at the amphitheater called Beats for Heartbeats. It's a Christian music concert. Part of the new agreement is that how that would work for them has to be thought through and kind of rearranged. So Jamie, Brad, and I met. Uh, we think we've come up with a process for that to be able to work so that they can still host their event with Joe's approval and him being okay with it. Um, kind of going backwards a little bit, so I mentioned we were short staffed during fair carry. I'll touch a little bit more on the financial impact of it, but in 2020, after about May, when we did make the decision to cancel the fair, we ended up having to lay off six of our full-time staff temporarily. We were able to bring for three of them back about the end of June. And since then, we've still been operating with three less full-time people than we normally would have. Um, I think we've managed that very well, all things considered. We also recently went through some actually pretty major staffing changes. We lost our entire facilities department right after the fair. Um, the county was great. I called, I needed additional help from the facilities and from planning and parks to get some things done in the meantime of being able to restaff that department and they really stepped up and helped so i want to say thank you for that um, the new team has been in place since september they are doing amazing they are great they all work very well together the clients really like them if you are out on the grounds i think you will actually notice some very positive changes visually that you would see there um, so i'm looking forward to seeing what they do in the coming year we also have a new accounting manager that started with us recently at the beginning of October, and she is getting pretty comfortable in her position at this point. I think she's gonna do amazing as well. Um, another thing that has come up that I've been working with Jamie and Brad on is we were contacted by a company that has the naming rights to part of the Ziegler building. And when the building was built and the donations were given, there was no sunset rights, dates of how long this would, would last company is still in existence, but they've changed their name, so they want to look at updating the signage. So the question that I had with them was, well, what do we do? How does this all work? So it was a conversation that was had. They shared some templates with me. We're going to put together a program on what future potential like signage sponsorships would look like, and then that will be brought back, I'm sure, at some point in 2022. Um, and then the last thing I was going to touch on was in 2022, we are actually revamping a lot of our signature <coughs> events, which are the ones that we organize and put on. So the fair, the holiday craft fair, which is coming up this Saturday, the bridal fair, winter carnival, things like that. We have taken the concert events off of the slate. 
and we're looking at replacing with those with new different events. So next year we're actually planning a Halloween event that would be in the egg area fairgrounds. And then discontinuing the bridal fair and replacing it permanently with the winter carnival, which went over really great for families. So just a couple of things like that. Anybody have any questions? Yeah, I mean, and, and why don't we, you guys can certainly, if you want to let Gary and Bill talk, and then if you want to ask questions of any of them at the end, we can certainly do that or now, however you want to do it, but that way it, you know, they might touch on it, so. Thank you, Chair. Uh, the Halloween, is that intended for like family and church retreating, or is it? We're eating more of a family type <clears throat> drink during the day and then a little spookier at night. So. Okay. I know there's been a movement to parking lot church retreating or whatever that's called. Yeah, right. there's a lot of schools in town in the county that do that. So it, it definitely could potentially be an aspect to it, but it's we're looking more at like a haunted walkthrough arms kind of thing. Thank you. 